Yeah, that, 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 that show was real exhausting. It was real with mind bender. Our whole crocky's belly, belly. You know, at least we had Mr. Pennypacker sitting by us, but I guess this is the show where he's letting us go. Uh, I hope you did you take any notes? Well, of course, they took uh, about uh, five binders. <laughs> oh, luckily your high IQ was going for the roof that day. If it, if it wasn't, you would have been like, uh, what, what? Did he say something? I don't know. <laughs> we were in a lot of trouble. Uh, yeah, folks. Uh, oh, um, we're going to get on the view. I'll hit Mr. Pennypacker. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because you're going to go and you're going to be actually playing this thing by yourself. That was really entertaining yesterday. I There was a lot even I had forgotten. So there was a lot of blunders on my end. I, I'm not perfect, people. I'm not perfect. So with you, Billy and Glenn, yeah, you're going to be playing Lord of the Realm 2 by yourself. <clears throat> As you notice, there's a lot of silence here other than me because Mr. You-Know-Who is still in the box. I didn't delete him. I... I, I kind of thought, you know, he expects that. Uh, he expects that this is going to end. Well, I don't think it's going to. <laughs> I don't think it's going to. He's going to sit in the box. Okay, so, you know, and uh, another thing, too, I'm going to state, Billy, I, I've been hearing that your final midterm for the uh, online class is coming, and uh, you, you, you're rocking it. You're really doing well with your grades. I uh, I don't know. I think there's something new uh, coming on your horizon. Oh, ow, no. Billy, come on. You want to stay here? We can fish. We can play video games. Yes, but my thesis is about done. I can do amazing things, amazing lab work in the, uh, the future. A great future, indeed. Uh, you know, and, uh, what's happened to your voice? Uh oh, uh oh! I sense a character change. Well, well, Hobie's on my side. I hope uh, you know uh, he, Billy's been a little bit. I don't know. Uh, he's not been very, very positive towards me. Uh, Mail. Well, he gets along with Dark Milo. Maybe I have a reason to. Keep Dark Mile around if I could keep Billy in check. Because uh, he's a very. He's going to prove to be a st extremely powerful in the future. And, you know, or I could just. I could use him to continue to keep patchworks on this world and stuff. So. I think uh, we're going to go in that direction. Okay, uh, Billy, are you. Are you cool? Hey, are we cool? Or. Well, of course, sir. We are very funny. Thank you. I like I like little gloves and basketballs. Wow, <laughs> he's he's uh well, dar well, uh, Mister uh, Mister uh, uh, Penny Packer. You heard it. He likes his balls. You know, <laughs> I told you sometimes his IQ just crashed. Well, I've seen that, but I'm noticing a big character change here. Well, uh, Mr. Billy, I I think we'll work just fine in the future, but you're 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 just about done with your schooling, and although I you, you know who knows what's coming, you know it's foreshadowing. Okay, so I'm gonna take Dark Milo out the box. Oh, glorious Mr. Pennypacker is back in control. He's back in town again. That's right. Kiss my butt. Here he goes. You're going to kiss the butt. Oh, kiss, 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 kiss. Kiss the butt. Kiss, 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 kiss. That's right. Little <laughs> suck up. Because <laughs> he knows what's he knows what's at risk. <laughs> now, I need you. To be super nice to Billy, because I need him on my side. <laughs> oh, Mr. Pennypacker, you know, Billy's a really good guy, you know, and he's really smart. And, uh, yeah, you know, I see him in the report here. Yeah, he's almost done with his online schooling. Uh, who knows what's next, you know? Billy Horizons, Billy Horizons. You know, uh, Billy, I'm very proud of you. 
Doc Malu, I thank you very much for that. Uh, you have been a grand uh, teacher and professor to me, and, and also a great person of great interest. In. And uh, I will be glad to help you in any endeavors in the future. You know, and I can't. Ow! There you go, you screwed him up good. <laughs> he doesn't even know what voice he's got now. Dark Milo and uh, Mr. Patty Packer. Well, well, you know, we all have our moments, you know, we're all kinds of people. So, okay, so Mr. Patty Packer, are you gonna. That was really irritating yesterday. Are they gonna get beat again in this game? Well, they're gonna be doing it by themselves. They're not be doing it by themselves. <laughs> You're gonna try to run a, a medieval. A medieval country by yourself. You, you need to understand. You, you know, you're, 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 you're gonna be dealing. You know, in the last game we dealt with one rival. You're gonna have two, <laughs> and the other guy, he's a complete nutcase. You see, he just attacks people randomly. He, he, he makes friendships suddenly, and then all of a sudden he just breaks them, and it's like. Yeah, he's he's a nutcase, you know. It really kind of sometimes helps knock him out early. And, but uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a very fun, entertaining show, you know. That's what we do here at Shattered Ground. We make fun, entertaining content for ourselves. <laughs> It'd be nice if people found it, but I I, I do it because it's a fun hobby. It's fun. It's fun to do this. You make a character, you try to snap him. <laughs> It's very fun stuff. Okay, folks, go play the game. Well, Billy, uh, looks like we're going to, looks like, son, we're going to be playing more Lords of the Realm. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, uh, looks like uh, we're going to be doing more of this. Uh, uh, Mr. Pennypacker, uh, he, he says uh, that we're going to have to do this solo. Uh, well, this is uh, not something I look forward to. This is humdinger of thing. This is going to be a really rough, rough uh, landing. Uh, well, we'll have to just kind of do what we can. Uh, non 256 caliber display. I don't think we got that problem, Billy. Oh, okay. Uh, now, we got to remember what he said, you know, that. Uh, you know, about the resource management. Uh, well, apparently we have no right to rule. <laughs> well, well, apparently we can go home then. <laughs> we don't have to play this game then, because got no right to rule. <laughs> well, I think that was the other province that we were looking at. Well, uh, well, we're going to have to do something about that. We're going to have to really uh, do some colonization about that, uh, you know. But uh, right now... We gotta kind of deal with our own problems. Uh, well, uh, uh, what do we do? <laughs> oh, uh, I'm just trying to copy what Mr. Pennypacker did. Well, apparently I'm not gonna send her supplies away. Send all her supplies and goods away to her enemies, you know. And... <laughs> I, I, I kind of noticed that Mr. Pennypacker likes to always, like, uh, <clears throat> pick out some really nasty games after he comes back from vacation. Uh, yeah, he likes to really find some real, real painful, painful lessons for us, huh? Uh, what we're going to try to do is buy some maces, because we have no idea how to get these guys to produce weapons. I, I even noticed Mr. Pennypacker was having some problems. You know, but then again, I can't blame him. He probably hadn't played the game in 20 years, so it's like, well, that's kind of a thing, you know? It's, uh, yeah, well, okay, quarrying is on, just to let you know, and well, uh, we're going to need it. We're going to need to make stuff. You know, we better be kind of nice to somebody, you know, compliment the Baron, you know? So, like, uh, um... Now let's see, what should I write, you know? Uh, hi, sir. This is Glen, Glee, Glen Farfinger and Billy. And we are 
your na new neighbors. Let let's bar barb. Let's what? Let's 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 barbecue. Yeah, let's barbecue. It's, it's kind of funny. I was sort of like, why let's barb? What's what? what? He's like, hey, oh boy. Oh, uh, you think too highly of me. Your flowery words reach too many ears. Like, well, why are you, are, are we're flowery? Or? I, I think he's saying, I don't know. I, I don't think we could say it on YouTube. Well, I think we can't really say much of anything anymore on YouTube. Well, can't, can't, can't we just go to kick? I mean, isn't it? Well, Billy, uh, okay, uh, Mr. Pennypacker's coming on because I think he's going to talk. <clears throat> okay, so I hear you're talking about YouTube and talking about uh, kick. Well... When was I told you two little, little, little men that a uh, kick is just Twitch without the edge? What, what does that mean? Well, basically what it is is, see, they, you think kick is about the streamers? Well, it's about Aiden Ross. It's about Aiden Ross. It's about train wrecks. It's about, it's about, uh, it's just about those two. <laughs> <laughs> it's just about those two, you know. It's never been about you. And uh, and another thing is, you know who's above them? The future advertisers and sponsors of Kick. This is really important to them. And you, everyone's going, well, Kick's great. It's got no commercial. It's because it's brand new and it has no sponsors. There's no sponsors. It's going to kick you to the freaking curb, buddy. I mean, if you even show one butt cheek wrong or something, you you show, like, your elbow in an angle, it's like a butt cheek. You're going out on the street. <clears throat> they're going to ban you, and they're ready. They're already getting, they're already giving people little temporary bans here and there. It's going to be nasty. They're going to turn to some social justice warrior crazy stuff. And you don't even know. Like, they, you know, some of the, the like, some of these people. And, and a process of another thing is, <laughs> you notice that really, you know, outside of us, like, maybe, like, streaming wrestling to one person on Twitch, you know, like, uh, WWE 2K, you know, you know, we never talk about that, you know, that, oh, did you know that Shattergrot actually, actually streams on Twitch? You know why we don't talk about it? Because there's only one person watching, so it's not like we're, we're tuning our horn here, okay? So, you need to understand, streaming, there's no point at it unless you're really making some money, like Aiden Ross or somebody. You're not making money. If you're not making any money, there's no point to it. You know, maybe at one point it was a novelty. It was a novelty because it was fun. It was fun to show off what you were doing. Really, even in the late 90s and throughout the 90s, the Internet was just you showing off your hobbies. You know, you would you would uh, make a web page. You would say, well, "What what do you like? I like Doctor Who. I like Tom Baker. I like you know uh, Patrick Trouton. I, I like uh, you know John Pertwee. I, I like Star Wars and Mark Hamill." And so that's like what it was. It was showing off your hobbies. It was a, it was a hobby, a hobby. You don't make a living at a hobby. So what it is now, it's just the advertisers. And so what it is. Is you would go, but yeah, but but Bobby Sue over there, he he gets a thousand viewers on Twitch and Kick, uh, buddy, buddy, you want to know a secret? Oh yeah, I would love to know a secret. I would love to know the secret. You know, and oh by the way, I know you're gonna say, well, what about the game? Well, well you're gonna let the guys talk. Guys, there's nothing to talk about on the screen. 
Okay, I, I admit, okay, I was a, it was kind of fun last episode, but this is already kind of worn out. It's welcome. It's kind of a boring game. So it's perfect time to rant about something. Let's talk about kick. Let's talk about streaming. Okay, so streaming sucks because what has happened is, is you know, you see that view count? You see when, go to your favorite channel and you see the view count. Now, I want you to do a favor for me. Look at the chat. Now, you go, well, okay, there's about about 20 people seldomly talking here and there. But here's the question to ask you then. What the hell's going on with the view count when there's over a thousand human beings watching and there's only five people actively chatting? Five, ten, some people. Here's another thing. Did you know most chat rooms, uh, you know, with, whether it's Twitch or whether it's YouTube, you can actually see a, a full list of all the people that are in the chat room. Now, what does that mean? Well, those are real people. Mostly real people, I should say. So what it is is... So, so what they'll claim, well, well, they'll claim, well, if they're watching a Roku, it doesn't count them for some reason. Well, uh, I hate to tell you, there's a thing called ViewBots. And you can order these, you can order them through, you know, usually a person on Discord. And so, what ends up happening is, you know, you, you order it on Discord, and the view bots come in. I saw Action Man, which is, you know, A-C-7-I-O-N-M-A-N. I don't know, I can always watch the show. So I can rant about him. But, you know, he's an entertaining guy when he wants to be. Um, big problem is he, um, how do I say this in a nice way? Well, I literally saw him for about, a few minutes just with you know it was about a little bit with about 154 people and it was very weird you know like at first you'd think well it went from 154 to say 200 and 300 and 400 and you know what I mean like it, you know there's actually some rhythm to it you know you know it's not like all of a sudden thousands of people just showed up spontaneously at once uh actually it that's what actually happened. Uh, literally, the, the number went from 154 to 2,000 people, which went from 2,000 people to just like six to 7,000 people. It's always around that ratio, too. It, it's never like, you know, it, sometimes it's more, you know, and I, I think there sometimes he, he does get a bigger audience. And some of his own audience has openly said that they believe his true audience is actually 2,000 real people and the rest is just a few bots. Now, it's big question to ask is, is it, see, the problem is you would think, well, he's buying view bots, isn't he? Well, you don't know. You're not for sure because it's either him or it's, it's somebody in his community. You get a big enough community you're pretty much off the hook because because you could still say at the end of the day, well, it's probably somebody in the community doing it, and I can't control that. You know, it's just the numbers. Well, then, in my opinion, then, that means that now for the future of streaming, view counts don't matter. So then that, I, I'm going to be honest, if I had the money, I made like a streaming site. I would literally do something very controversial, and that's just get rid of the view counts because people buy view bots. So what it is is you don't even see the real number of people. I mean, maybe you have, like, lots and lots of people, but you're never going to know, and they're never going to know, you know. But the fact is, is it's your content that brings them in, but, you know, it's not this 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 popularity contest with numbers you have to actually be legitly good 
So, you know, what I'm saying is, is that streaming, so uh, then there's a third element to this, and the final element is they finally, they have about a few pay pigs, or called whales. Affectionately called whales. No, they you don't outright call someone a pay pig. That's basically just an insult. Now I'm sorry. I I have a tendency to always eat dinner before doing the show, which means it's Belcharama, Belcharama, and uh, so then that means one thing and one thing only is they have whales. What do whales do? Well, they they kind of they sort of like um, throw a lot of donos, and they what it is 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 these streamers live on donos. They don't they don't they don't really get anything from ad revenue, you know. And a lot of sites don't even have ad revenue at all. So as a result, they need those donos, and you know. They really need them, and you know, it, basically, they are e-bakers. They're basically pan. They're digital panhandlers, you know. And I know, I know someone out there is going to go, but I'm a star, and I can easily argue the guy on the corner with the with the with the bucket, and you know, and the sign. He's a star too, you know. He's everybody sees him, you know, right? Isn't that just like a streamer? Everybody sees a streamer. Everybody sees the guy panhandling. And uh, that's that's next generation panhandling. You know, you go, well, I'm really down on my luck. I can't get a job. I uh, can't, I can't, I can't find work. I, you know, I, I got a bad back or whatever, whatever is happening to you. Sometimes you just live in a bad area. You no, know, there's no good, good corporations, good factories around anymore. And I, you know, I'm, I feel you. I feel you. So what did I do? Well, they could uh, pack up a bag and go set out in great endeavor to find a their job and their career. You know, I don't think they're heading the Bering Straits to fish but they some of them sadly tuck their tail head to twitch head to youtube now well, now i guess head to kick too and uh they they give their shot at being an entertainer they get a gamer chair <laughs> get a gamer chair uh they uh sit themselves in front of monkey dot app or a Meggle, they then uh, get poked and prodded. They get poked and prodded by their chat room. They get poked and prodded by the people on the app. Oh, the the humanity. I mean, if you think about it, really. You know, a lot of times homeless people are really treated like shit by some of the general public, you know. And, you know, you can have some guy sitting in the side of the corner, a bunch of kids come up and make fun of him and laugh at him. Is that any different than being on kick.com and or Twitch or whatever and your chat room is making fun of you and laughing at you and, and then all of a sudden you, you go on monkey.app and you have a person with a shower cap on making fun of you, tearing you down because you have you have a l extra love handle or you or are you just, just, it's just really, are you, you're buying more Macy's? <clears throat> yeah, Dark Ma, I love those Macy's. Well, you go buy an extra Macy's. It makes you feel good. You do what works for me, Glenn Farfinger. So, okay, so, that's, that's, that's really the lowdown, and you must feel a lot better saying, oh, I feel a weight lifted off my shoulders. Yeah, but, uh, Billy, I'm going to tell you something, and, you know, you really need to not hear this, and you need to understand <clears throat> in your endeavors in life that being a streamer is not worth it. You know, we, I know you're going to say, but you make videos. Yeah, that's Kino. That's, 
the way the old ways were. We made videos, we added commentary, and, and it was just our shtick. It was our thing, and you... Okay, you were tempted to combine combine these armies? Hell yeah! Yeah, combine those armies. So, uh... So, that's what you do, and then, you know, and, of course... Of course, you ask the question of yourself, why did we watch them? And it's because, it's because sometimes when someone's on fire running through the streets, you're going to look. You know, it's human nature. I mean, at one point of time, uh, you know, people went to a coliseum to watch people fight wild animals and, well, fight them with bare hands, you know. So... <clears throat> I apologize. I haven't done this show, a recording session of this show in a long time. So, that's the reality of this live streaming thing. It's just sort of like, why do you even bother? But that's the thing. You see, I know you're going to say, though, like, well, it, was it ever a point to doing it? And, I think there was. I think that it was a fun, fun thing at one point, you know, and it was a hobby. It was like sharing your stuff. It's like I told you about how websites used to be. You know, at one point, websites used to be about sharing your content. It was sharing your content and your interests with people. And, um,. That was the way it was, and it, it worked. It just worked. But now it's about e-begging. It's about, it's about, you know, and, and that's the thing is, you need to understand, like, you know, there's no sponsorships, there's no nothing. It's just, it's just, you know, unless you're like Ada Ross, and, and you need to understand on kick, you know, people are getting the wrong signals from him. Like, they... They think they can be transphobic, they think they can be racist or whatever, you know. They think they can be um, promoting of uh, gambling practices. And I'm going to flat out tell you, once sponsors and adver advertisers come in, once what it is, is, is what Aiden is, he is the sole the sole money maker for that site okay so he's got power he's got the crown of the crown of power right now but what's going to happen on kick.com is once you get some serious sponsors and advertisers they're going to fulfill those coffers they're going to fill those that that money money hole for them and then aiden is going to be trivial and as a result what is going to happen in the future is they're going to basically tell Aiden, you're going to have to get in line. You're going to have to follow our terms of service. You know, no more watching porn. No more of all this stuff. No more transphobia. In fact, I we would probably recommend you uh, do a public apology. Maybe even have someone who's transgender come on your show and you can tell, tell her and him, you know, you're sorry. And then uh, you better do all this because we have enough money. We can drop you. Now, I understand you were permanently banned on Twitch. What would happen to you if you if we permanently banned you? That means yeah, you're 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 starting to move you move off into unknown territory. You know, you're not on the big sites anymore. You will probably need to go to YouTube and. You know, they may not want to put up with someone who's been deplatformed a whole bunch. You're too controversial. Maybe you can go to Cozy. Maybe you can talk to Nick Fuentes or something. Um, so that's kind of it. You know, guys, like, I, I don't, I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, that the only way to make money as a streamer is to basically beg f for donos, and that's not. Uh, no, that's you don't want to do that. You're you're that's just panhandling. It's 
You know, I, I listen to DSP, and DSP's, he is a professional panhandler. He, he doesn't, you know, I would ask him, I said, tell me what's the difference between what you do and a panhandler, because cause a panhandler asks for donations, and you're doing the same thing, right? And, he, of course, he would try to make up some kind of claim while the panhandler just stands there. He doesn't do anything. I do something for you. I, I play. And, but then I could say, yeah, but there's panhandlers that do are street musicians. What about that? And then, of course, of course, then that's when the sweat would start to drop because that's a good point. Yeah, that's that's a good point. They're they're very similar to me. And of course, I would be like, wow, <laughs> they're not just similar. They're a shame. And uh, you got a huge the little peasant army there you're dealing with. Uh, uh, you got enough people, Glenn? Oh, oh, crack, crack. It's, uh, oh, no, I mean, we're outnumbered. Oh, boy. Yeah, they, and they're coming right for you, too. They're, they're confident on this one. I, I, I am sorry. Uh, this is one thing about when you fight the peasants, I've always found. The game's RNG can be just absolutely kind of nuts. And I don't know why you're not bringing the rest of your army out front. Uh, that's... Oh, oh crackish crackies, we forgot we got this whole army back in the back there. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's not good, Glenn. Um, that's a big, big, big goof up. But, of course, you're probably going, well, we're kind of screwed, so... Um, well, let's see. Let's see what happens. You got, oh, yeah, you're not gonna, I don't know. I, no, 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 yeah, you're, you're losing here. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of it, you know, and the battle is lost, and, oh, you know, that's, that's, that's some crappy pants. That's some crappy, crappy, crappy pants. Yeah, well, you're it's a good time to get some cleanup job on that one. Well, I think I'm gonna let you guys go now. I I've had my fill. I had my rant and yeah, okay, goodbye. Well, I well we're something, Billy, uh, and Mr. Pennypanker. Oh, we got flooding. <laughs> yo yo. Well, this game's RNG. It's just brutal. It, you know, and, uh, I'll tell you one more thing, okay, just about this game. So, this game, just understand that the things you see on your screen, like flooding and all that, that's stuff you deal with. Uh, look, I, I remember watching a guy, and he, he, he'd get mad at you if you even said the computer cheated of course it cheats I, I literally knew a guy who was a freaking college professor and he openly admitted the game cheats he played it too so yeah just understand this game and also another thing I've learned from watching that other guy and he I learned a lot more about the game than even when I played it that apparently when the bigger your uh, population gets, the closer getting to the game deciding to just wreck you with the Black Plague. So, just letting you know, this game has got a, a very nasty, funny bone. A very nasty, funny bone. Okay, guys. Well, uh, well, uh, well, Billy, uh, I don't know. This game is really tough. It, it's yeah, very tricky. Very smart game, actually. Well, uh, I think this game's not exactly in our realm of territory here. I, uh, I kind of hate to say it too. It, I don't. 
you know, like last last game, Mr. Pennypacker like really was doing good, and um, we haven't made any ground at all. You know, and uh, you know. Uh, we didn't make any kind of ground at all. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think this game is really our thing. Well, I think uh, just commentating on wrestling on WWE 2K22 is our thing. So, uh, yeah, I think that's our thing. But uh, this... This is kind of, this is, it's also very hard to commentate. It's really hard for us to, I don't know, our ADHD doesn't really, really kind of jive with this. I I know that Mr. Paypacker grew, grew with this game. This was one of his first three PC games he ever owned, and I think that's pretty cool stuff, but, you know, it it's not really our f <sighs> uh, not really our thing. And uh, the knight wants an alliance. Well, that's a good thing. I mean, uh, we kind of need that, you know, but I don't know, Billy. I think we're going to probably have to kind of call it quits on this one, right? This is just not our, not our forte, for, for, for docs or something, or, um, or, or Fortnite, I don't know, uh, yeah, it's definitely not our Fortnite, yeah, yeah, it's just definitely not, you know, and, uh, I, I don't know how we even get them to actually properly make weapons, uh, we got plenty of stone. We got plenty of everything else. And they're just kind of like, well, what? I, we don't know how to do that. You know, we just don't know how to do that. Uh, okay. Ugh. Yeah, okay, folks. We'll see you next time. Dirt, dirt, dirt.